At some point in our life, we all find out ways to make money. People often think that making money is the most challenging part, but the truth is knowing how to spend your money is the hardest part. Most people lack financial knowledge, and financial knowledge is something that is very much underestimated. Even our schools ignore financial knowledge, which is why so many people end up being poor despite making a lot of money with their degrees. Confused? Well, let's talk about that today. Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll talk about money habits that will continue to keep you poor. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one and turn on post notifications to get notified about our future uploads. Drop a like for the video if you think you're good with money. With all that done, let's get started. Everybody wants to be rich. Everybody wants to buy mansions and supercars with their money. Let's talk about a hypothetical situation where you give a random person a lot of money, and the chances are high that the person will still end up being broke. Building wealth is not as difficult as you think because it depends on your mindset. You might be having certain habits that will keep you broke despite what you earn. Let's say that you make $50,000 a year and you end up spending all that money throughout the year, you will still end up being broke. So being poor has very little to do with the amount of money that you earn and it is more about how you handle your money and finances in general. Here are a few money habits that will make you poor. 1. Not having a proper budget Most people end up borrowing a lot of money despite knowing the fact that they are borrowing money to buy liabilities that they can't afford in the first place and this will put them in an endless cycle of debt. This can be easily avoided if you take the time to plan out your expenses and your income because without having a proper financial budget for yourself, it will be extremely difficult for you to accomplish your financial goals. Having a well planned out budget will give you an insight into how much you're earning and on what things you're spending unnecessarily. Tracking your expenses will help you reduce overspending and you can save some money in the process. The best part is the money that you saved can be used to buy more assets or you can invest in other businesses that will make you more money in the long term. Depending on your income, you also need to adjust your budget. Let's say that today you're making $2,000 per month and by the next year you'll be making $3,000 per month. You will still need to control your expenses so you can save up a lot more money. There is no harm in raising your standard of living when you can, especially if you have a lot of money. But if you're somebody who's waiting to spend a lot of money, you will put yourself in a situation that will make it difficult for you to attain your financial goals. 2. Poor Money Mindset People often say that money is not everything, but if you want anything in life, you need money. And that is a fact. You see, a lot of people are actually having an extremely unhealthy attitude towards money, and that is something that will prevent you from building wealth. There are people who will say that money is the root of all evil, but we don't quite agree with it because we think poverty is the root cause of all evil. For anything that you want to accomplish in your life, your mindset is key. But today, the influence on social media is also affecting our spending habits. We all are guilty of spending money on unnecessary things so as to impress somebody else. A rich man can play broke forever, but a poor man cannot play rich for long. Which is why you should not spend so much money just to impress somebody else. If you do, you will again end up in an endless cycle of debt, especially if you spend more money than you earn. 3. Unnecessary Upgrades The tech industry is trying to convince you that you need to have the latest and greatest gadgets every 6 months when these companies release a new gadget, especially smartphones or smartwatches. You see, there is no harm in buying the gadgets that you actually need, but if the present one is working just fine and it's getting things done really well, you don't need to buy the updated model thinking that you're keeping up with the trend. These gadgets are depreciating assets, which means that you purchase them today for a certain amount and the very next day the prices of the gadget that you bought will decrease in value. So there's no point in upgrading every year or every 6 months unless and until you really need it. 4. Living an unhealthy lifestyle Okay, so how exactly does an unhealthy lifestyle make you poor? Well, we all have certain addictions. You can get addicted to smoking or even chocolates, and that can make you poor. You spend a lot of money on these addictions because, on average, a habitual smoker smokes at least one packet of cigarettes per day and spends about $2,000 per year on cigarettes. An average heavy drinker will consume more than 15 drinks per week and that person will be spending more than $3,000 on alcohol per year. Now when you do the math, you can do so much more with that money. An unhealthy lifestyle can also be a result of eating junk food. 
Now you might be spending a lot of money on fast food and you're actually damaging your body. You're not getting the proper nutrients and your calorie intake required for the day will be exceeded if you consume a lot of unnecessary, unhealthy food leading to obesity. You'll be greeted with a lot of medical issues moving forward and you will have to spend a lot of money at hospitals. So if you cut down on your addictions and fast food, you will end up saving a lot of money. You could also try making food at your home using the ingredients that you carefully picked. And this will be a much healthier alternative to the food that you can eat at a restaurant. Now we are not saying that eating out is a bad thing, but eating every day, especially if the food is unhealthy, can bring in a lot of health related problems. And if you're not at your best in terms of health, then you won't be able to create wealth as well. 5. Poor Debt Management You will be restricting yourself from making a lot of financial decisions in your life if you're in debt which is why poor debt management is a really bad habit. You can't build wealth unless and until you take full control of your debt. Most people who are already terrible at managing money will be in an endless cycle of debt. So to take control of your life, you need to track your expenses and live below your means so that you can finish off your debt as early as possible. And once you're done with it, you can save and invest the rest of your money and your mental health will improve as well. There is a bad reputation for credit cards as well, but what you don't know is that credit cards are extremely useful tools, but only if you know how to use them. If you don't, you will end up paying a lot of money in interest along with the debt that you created. Today, a lot of people have debts that eat up a huge portion of their personal finances and people are often confused as how to get out of this cycle which will continue to leave them broke. So if you have any pending debt, make sure you pay them off as early as possible. Now managing that is one of the hardest things to do. So you need to work out a plan for this and stick to it no matter what. Once you pay off your debt, it will be the most fulfilling experience when it comes to your financial success. So to sum things up, you need to take control of your finances today. You need to get done what needs to be done right now. You definitely have the power to do it. The wealthy people use the money to make a lot more money and they buy assets, but the poor people continue to buy liabilities instead of investing in assets. The rich people know how money works and they will work till a point where money makes more money for them. The rich people also financially educate themselves and look out for opportunities and take bigger risks and that is what contributes to their financial success. Poor people often try to impress everybody by showing off the wealth that they don't have. To some extent, we could say that money will not buy you happiness, but what money can buy you is comfort. With this comfort, you can be happy. We all have so many problems and most of the problems in our life are because of money. So if you focus on building our wealth by investing in assets and taking control of our expenses and having a proper financial plan, you too can become wealthy. So do yourself a favor by taking control of your finances today and you will thank yourself later. Let your journey to be rich start today. With that, we have come to an end with our video. What do you think about these habits? Did we miss out on any other practices that will make you poor? Do let us know in the comment section below because we would love to hear from you all. Drop a like for the video if you'll never make the same financial mistakes again. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. While you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss another video from us. That's about it for today. Catch you in the next one.